long time ago in a little village in Zimbabwe, a country that's just near South Africa on the other side of the world from here. One morning, all the teenagers came out of their huts and one of them said, we have to go graze the cattle. We have to get the cattle to go from this. Wait a minute, where's the chief? He's always the first one up. Oh well, we've got cattle to graze. The women came out of their huts. One of them said, today's our day to make bread. We need to grind grain into flour and make some... Wait a minute, where's the chief? He's always the first one up. Oh well, we've got to make our bread. The men came out of their huts. One of them said, you go pick berries, you go fishing. Why don't... Wait a minute, where's the chief? He's always the first one up. We got to do our work. A couple of hours later, the chief came out of his hut. He said, Ooh, my head hurts. Oh, my stomach hurts. My whole body hurts. I must be sick. I better go back into the hut and lay on my mat and sleep this off. So the chief went back into his hut and he lay in his mat and he slept for the whole day and he slept for the whole night. The next morning he woke up, high fever, shivering, sweating. When it turned dark again, he fell asleep with a fever sleep. The third morning he woke up and he felt so awful that he called the men of the village to come help him. The men heard and they came running, Chief, Chief, they said, Oh, Chief, you look awful. What can we do for you? Oh, said the Chief, I'm really sick. I need, I need you to go, to go get my doctor. Right, your doctor. They ran out of the hut. And they stopped. And they came back in again. They said, oh, sorry, chief, but uh, who is your doctor? Oh, way up on the top of the hill, past the field, there's a cave. And inside the cave was a giant python snake named Niangata. That's my doctor. A snake is your doctor? Okay, we'll get your snake doctor for you. And they ran out of the hut and they stopped and they came back in. They said, oh, chief, sorry, but uh, how do we get this snake doctor yours down from the hill? And the chief said, oh, yes, you have to get a big pot and fill it with the village beer. Carry the pot of beer across the field up the hill and you'll see the cave and Sing him out of the cave and let him drink the beer and, and uh, bring him back to me. So that's what the men did. They got a big pot. They filled it with the village beer. They carried it across the field. They climbed the hill. Look, there's the cave. But they couldn't see anything and it was pitch black dark. So they started singing. Nyan got a chain on. 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 And they stopped singing because they could see the giant python snake coming out of the cave. He was all coiled up inside and he uncoiled one coil, two coils, three coils. The men were so scared their bodies started shaking and the one that was holding the pot of beer shook so hard. Oh no, the pot slipped off his head and the other men turned and they saw the pot fall through the ground and crash into a hundred pieces and the men saw the beer run all over the ground and they saw the giant python snake coming towards them and they were so scared they just turned and ran. They ran down the hill. They ran across the field. They ran back to the village. They ran up to the chief's hut. They said, oh, chief, we're so sorry we couldn't do it. We couldn't bring Nyangata back from the hill, but we, we will, chief, we will do anything we can to make you better. Oh, thank you, said the chief. No, no. Only Nyangata. The children in the village started wondering why all the adults were so sad. They'd walk up to one of the adults, to a woman. She'd say, why, why aren't you dancing? She would just shake her head. They walked up to one of the men and says, why aren't you singing? He would just shake his head. They'd walk up to another one and says, why aren't you answering our questions? They would just shake their head. Finally, they decided they were going to ask the one person in the village who always answered their questions. 
They went into the chief's hut. They said, chief, oh, oh, chief, you look awful. What's going on? The adults are not answering our questions, and they look so sad, and they're not dancing, and they're not singing. Oh, ch children, thank you for coming in. I'll tell you, I'm very sick, and I asked the men to go get my doctor, Nyangada, the giant python snake who lives on the hill across the field. And the men, well, they couldn't do it. They couldn't bring him back to me. And so now I'm going to die. You, you, know, you can't. We'll, we'll do it. We'll get your snake doctor for you. Oh, thank you, children. No, no. You have to be strong and brave. We're strong, we're brave, we can do it, just tell us what we have to do. So he did. The chief told them about the pot and the beer, and he taught them the song. And the children ran out, and they got another pot, and they filled it with beer, and they carried the pot across the field, and they carried it up the hill, and they started singing, Nyang got a chain on, Nyang got a chain on. Nyang got a chain on, Nyang got a chain on, Nyang got a chain on. And they stopped singing, and they stopped singing because they could see Nyang got a, the giant python coming out of the cave. He uncoiled one coil, he uncoiled two coils, three coils. The children were so scared, their bodies started shaking, but they said to their bodies, Be still! Say that! Be still! And they were still. And Nyangata the python started speaking to the children. Nyangata the python said, Koira Chinira. Koira Chinira. Some men came here yesterday. They broke the pot and ran away. Koira Chinira. Koira Chinira. Will you also run away? And did those children run away? No, they kept singing. Nyang got a chain, ha. 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 And they stopped. They stopped singing because Nyangara was coming further out of the cave. He uncoiled four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coils. He was completely out of the cave. Nyangata the python slithered along the ground. He slithered right up to the first little boy, right up onto his feet, up his legs, up his chest, and over his shoulder, and under the shoulder of the girl behind him, and under the shoulder of the boy behind her, over the shoulders of all those children, till he got to the last little girl who was holding the pot of beer. And when she saw Nyangata's head come, she held the pot down and watched him drink all that beer. And when Yangada finished drinking all that beer, the children left him right there on their shoulders and carried him slowly and carefully down the hill, across the fields, back to the village, and right up to the chief's hut. The chief, the chief looked up from his mat. He said, Oh, children, you've brought Yangada. And then Yangada slithered off the children's shoulders onto the floor of the hut and licked the chief's legs and body and arms and licked the chief's feet and hands and head. And when he finished, the chief stood up. He said, thank you. Thank you, Nyangada. I feel much better. And the chief ordered an ox to be roasted up just for Nyangada. And Nyangada ate the ox all by himself. And when he was finished, the children took Nyangata up under their shoulders and carried him back to his cave on the hill. But when the children came back, the chief ordered another ox to be roasted. This one, he said, this one is for the children because they were the ones that brought my doctor, Nyangata, down from the hill to make me better. The children, they were the ones who were strong and brave. And that is a story of Nyangata the python from Zimbabwe.